This is Reentry 101, where I cover the basic fundamentals of reentry for those who are coming home from prison or those who just got home from prison. And a lot of times people always ask me, what is the number one thing I should do? Or what is the most important thing I should do once I get out, and once I get released? And I always tell them, find the mentor. Hey, they're like, find a mentor? I'm like, yeah, find you a mentor. Find you somebody who's been through what you've been through, somebody that's doing good with their life, someone you respect, and someone you can look at and see that they are who they say they are. And they ask, what is the importance of a mentor? The importance of the mentor is to have somebody there to advise you, to, to, to talk with, to coach you, to show you the way so that you can be successful in your reentry. So you can be successful in life. And then they said, well, what, what, what should I do? Uh, how can I find a mentor? What, you know, how do you go about the process of finding a mentor? And I, and I break them down this, 10 steps to, to, to doing this mentor thing, to finding a mentor, 10 steps. Step number one is find somebody that you want to be like. That's right. Find somebody that you want to be like. Find somebody who's been in the places that you've been through. Who, who made it out, who's doing successful and doing good things with their life. Someone you can say, oh man, he been through what I've been through, or they been through what I've been through, and they made it there to where I'm trying to go. Yeah, I, I need them to be my mentor, show me the way, guide me. Yeah, find somebody you want to be like. Then once you find somebody you want to be like, study that person. That's why I study them, watch their social media, see if they walk and they talk matches. Find people who know them, Watch to see what they say about them. Study the person. Find out if they are who they say they are. Once you find out that they are who they say they are, then you make the move to ask for a meeting. Like, can I take you out to lunch? Would you like to go out and have coffee? I would like to talk to you. Don't say I'm going to pick your brain. Don't say none of that. Just ask for a meeting to where y'all can set a meeting, meet up, and then y'all can have a conversation. Once you ask for the meeting and have the meeting, evaluate the fruit of the meeting. How did the meeting go? How did you feel with that person? Was they self-centered? Was they asking you questions back? You know, how did this person carry themselves at the, at the meeting? Was they the type of person that you thought they were or were they totally different? So evaluate the fruit of, of the meeting. And if the meeting went well, that's when the next step comes in. And that's a ask for a follow-up meeting. And in this follow-up meeting, that's where you make the move to ask, will they be your mentor? So ask for a follow-up meeting. And if they say, yeah, they'd be your mentor in the follow-up meeting, now you just let that relationship evolve organically. Don't force it or anything else. Just let that relationship evolve organically. And once the relationship starts to evolve organically, your, your mentor is going to start challenging you. And when they start challenging you, you got to stay in there. So don't check out when you're getting challenged. Don't check out when the mentor is challenging you. What you need to do is press into the relationship. Press back, step up to the plate, step up to the challenges. And once you did that, then ask for feedback. That's right, ask for feedback. Ask your mentor for feedback. And last but not least, once you did that, then you're gonna continue to commit to the process. Continue to commit to the process. Because as long as you commit to the process and do these things, especially on the back half, pressing into the relationship, you know, accepting the feedback, asking questions and things like that, you're going to continue to grow. So find you a mentor, and then what are the steps of finding a mentor? This is Reentry 101.